G'day guys, welcome back. It's swiping day today and before I get started I'm going to show you a couple of dried pieces. This, this was the one, they're both the same colours, exactly the same, I just swiped with a different tool. I don't know if you can see that, it's, look how shimmery it is, really pretty. This was the one where I swiped with the um, little paint chip cards, little cardboard swatches. So that's that one. And then this one, exactly the same again, but it's a more subtle kind of a look. This was with the paper towel. And you can actually see the little lines from, you know, where you, the serrated edge where you tear the paper towel. So you get this little sort of a look here. They're both very pretty. Just depends what you use to swipe with. So that's those guys all dried beautifully. Put them over here. They'll make a nice little set hanging up together, won't they? Righto. Today's swipe. I'm going to use this big sheet of plastic. It was a document holder that I've just cut open. It was, you know, two sides. It had a flap. I just cut it out. It's just old paint on there. And it's a nice weight for a swipe. So I'm going to swipe with that. The swipe colour is going to be silver today and I'm going to try out the Sargent's liquid metal in the silver. So that's that one there. Um, I'm using my usual pouring medium. The 60% glue, 40% water. The swipe colours mix two parts pouring medium to one part paint because I like it to be thinner. And then the other colours, my blues... Um, and turquoise and white, they mixed one and a half parts pouring medium to one part paint. So 90 grams of pouring medium to 60 grams of paint. That's three ounces of pouring medium to two ounces of paint. Uh, this one on the end here is deep cyan blue. They're all the Montmartre Studio paints. So that's the cyan. Um, and then we've got the white. You don't see that bottle. And then the turquoise is that one there. Turquoise. And this dark one is phthalo blue. So those are my colours. Um, I've already put four drops of silicone oil in each of them. I've done that already, give them a good stir, just this spot on treadmill silicone that I've used. And that's my, that's my swipe colour. There's no oil in the swipe colour. You could, if you wanted to, just put this um, oil in the swipe colour and not in the other colours. Put my dirty gloves back on reusing these gloves. I don't know how many pores I've got out of these gloves, but hey, we, we need to reuse our supplies, don't we, as much as we can. Why not? You can still wash your hands with them on. and It, I mean, it stains them, but they, they're clean. Right, put the swipe colour to the side. Uh, I need to just layer all these paints. Basically, put a little blob of water in you. And uh, then we shall get swiping. I haven't decided yet if I just want to swipe down or whether I want to swipe out from the middle. The silver's quite a thick paint. So I think if I swipe from the middle up, I'm going to have quite a big area of silver. Unless I swipe twice. I may do that. We'll see what happens. Let's get layering with the paint anyway. <clears throat> so just little drizzles everywhere i won't use it all because i might put another layer on over the top otherwise this color is down the bottom and you can't really see it very much I'll put the white along the edges there we go and then the turquoise dribble that in as well just make your layers sort of thin-ish Otherwise, you get big blobs of colour if they're too thick. But not too thin either, because if your little ribbons of paint are too thin, they'll just blend together and you won't say, oh, there's a blue and there's a turquoise. You know, they'll just be all blended. Okay. A little bit more of this blue. That's all of it. I might scrape it. A um, little bit more white. I don't want to put too much white on. Can take over. 
same with this turquoise i might not put any more turquoise on i basically wanted more of a <clears throat> more of a blue painting with just a little bit of turquoise showing through i know from previous paintings you know the turquoise can take over but we'll see we'll see what happens okay so now we just need to basically tilt to cover in all those little gaps and make sure all our sides are covered so just gently move the paint around so that you go over all your edges there's plenty there so that you have got enough to to cover everything this is a 30 by 40 centimeter canvas or 12 by 16 inches and I've got I wrote it down how much have I got oh no I don't know. write it down three it's five mm, five ounces five ten fifteen twenty twenty ounces it's about 600 grams of mixed paint um, I'd probably use a little bit more than most people because, you know, I like to be able to tip some of it off. Move it all around. See how see how much white I've got there? It's really taken over, hey? I hope I haven't got too much white and I didn't even use it all. Let me just wipe my hands. Actually, I haven't got any on the corner there. Just wipe my gloves. Um, 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 what to do what to do uh, I think I will do the center swipe I do like those and if I've got too much I can just swipe twice I've got my piece of paper towel ready to go actually before I start I'll zoom you back in now that I've shown you what I wanted to show you I can zoom you in a little bit more now so that you can see the magic happen not quite sure what kind of cells I'm going to get with this silver paint but we shall see I'm expecting kind of smallish cells or I don't know it's tricky when you're using a metallic you never know what you're going to get it's like life is a box of chocolates, isn't it? You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> I just love that movie, hey? Forrest Gump. All right, there we go. There's our silver. And I get my piece of plastic. I'm going to drop it into the silver. Make sure you've got one foot in front of the other. Otherwise, when you reach your swipe to the end, you're going to fall over. So just touch your swipe color. Try not to touch too much of your other colors otherwise you'll just end up pulling all your paint off your canvas clean that okay and we'll turn that around there's still plenty of silver there that I can pick up and pull across the other half I don't know what's going on over there though I don't think I really like that now that's got paint on it, so I'm just going to turn it around and use the clean side. It's the good thing about these, you can do that. So again, just touch the touch the silver and off you go. Oops, I'm not going very straight, am I? <laughs> See what I mean about having a lot of silver in the middle? Um, it's up to you whether or not you like that, that look. Because it's such a it's such a thick amount of silver I'm not going to get cells through there um, but let's torch and see what happens see at this stage you could if you wanted to swipe again um, with the silver and that's what I have been doing recently uh, I, might, I might actually do it again I'm just gonna get some more paper towel another little piece here now that plastic is dirty, so I need to just, I'm just going to grab another piece of plastic. Oops, I'm just going to use this one. 
need a little bit of silver on the edge there. Edges kind of miss out. Okay, here we go. I may only need to swipe one side. We'll see what happens. This is a lighter piece of plastic, this one. Oh, oh dear. Okay, let's spread the silver a little bit more. So I've got silver right, right down to the edge there, as you can see. And let's go again. This little, yeah, that's looking really nice. Just spreading that silver. That little piece of plastic's a little bit lighter in weight than my um, bigger sheet of plastic. Get another piece of paper towel. Just save some clean up, you know, if you can put your swipe straight back onto that. Now I've used that side, so I'll just turn it over and use the clean side. Oops, pulled a bit much off there. Oh dear. I don't know why. Um, I wonder if I should put a little bit more silver on here. Just a tiny bit. So I pulled most of the silver off for some reason. I don't know why. That's bending that edge there. You've got to be careful of your edges bending. All right, let's go again just into that silver that I've put there. bit of silver coming over all right I'm gonna leave it at that because I think that's a nice covering we're getting getting some cells popping up already uh, the silver when it dries it's gonna be really really shimmery really shimmery much more silver on this half than this half obviously had more more silver on this half and not as much on this half so Give it a light torching. You can always go over it again with the torch, but just start off with a light torching and then see how many cells you get and whether you are or not you want more. Oh, they're a bit close there. See, I'm not getting anything through here. Even though that's a very thin amount of silver there, I'm really not getting much through it at all. guess that's just the difference in in the metallic paint it, it acts differently oh look no, no, no. oh no there they go. Um, I'm getting a few I guess I'll just go again there's a few coming up I certainly wouldn't have got those with just my first swipe because the the silver was way too thick And even here, look how thick that is there. I'm getting tiny, tiny little cells coming through. It's really thick there. I think I'll leave it at that, she says as she torches again. Leave it at that. I don't want to overdo it. What do you think? Those are really pretty cells though. I mean, they're only little. I expected them to be little. Just because of the um, consistency of that silver, the cells come up and they can't really spread anywhere because the silver is just a, yeah, it's just a, I don't know. It's a metallic. It acts differently. Let's turn off the ring light and I'll take you down for a close-up. I do prefer this, this half here that's got more silver on it, but... They're both pretty. Let's have a look at these cells, hey? Some really nice cells. I haven't torched too much, so I haven't got like a lot of cells come up. So I don't like it when they all come up and bump into each other and then they lose their round shape. Look at the colours in there. So pretty. Nice background. Oops, I should pan slower so we can focus. 
So once it dries, I will show you the dried result. We'll have a beautiful shimmery silver over the top. If you wanted to do some little fairy kisses, um, you know, with your balloon, you could do that, but come back in maybe six hours or so. Oh, look at that one there. It's got lots of colours. Blue, white, turquoise, blue. <laughs> lots of colours in the middle of that little guy. Yeah, so if you want to do some balloon dipping through the centre, if you'd like to do that, then uh, wait until your paint has thickened a little bit um, and absorbed into your canvas a little bit. You'll get a better result and then do your balloon dips. Um, but yeah. I don't know, maybe I should do that. Do you want me to do that? Oh, you don't. You can't tell me. I'll, I'll see what I feel later on. I may do it, I may not. I might just leave it. So there she is. What do you think? Do you like it? Very nice. Happy with that? Okay, oh, and look, it's only 16 minutes. Woohoo! <laughs> it's always good when I'm under 20 minutes. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Have a go at swiping. So easy. Well, if you get your consistency right. And don't put any pressure. When you're pulling your swipe tool, don't push down. Just very, very gently glide it across the top of your paint, okay? All right. See you guys real soon. Bye for now.